Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. I don't know about you guys, but it's time. <sighs> so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you guys don't know anything about me. I'm Zombie Andre, and <clears throat> we play a lot of different games. We do some YouTube, we do some Twitch. Um, mainly a lot of the Twitch things are on the Xbox. But today we're going to be jumping into, I know it's been out for a while, and there, I think there's been people who have already completed the game and everything, but we're jumping into it for our first time. Hogwarts Lake, see ladies and gentlemen. If you can see it, it's kind of blurry. You can't see it. Well, it says Hogwarts Lake, see, okay. Really bad. Focusing. But, welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, so, finally got my letter to Hogwarts. Witchcraft and Wizardry today. It's pretty exciting. Um, I think I lost it, to be honest. Um, I think I got it like uh, when it came when when a lot of them were going out. I lost it. <laughs> Finally found it again. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go with this. So guys, this is kind of a look through. I'm gonna do a part of the series on YouTube to kind of show off the game for a lot of people that are interested in the game to see how it is. Um, I've only heard amazing things. I got to watch my wife play a little bit of it, and she's kind of hooked on it right now um, on the game. So, And for her, that really doesn't care that much about Harry Potter. Um, that's a big thing to say. Um, she gets really, uh, she really likes the game and is playing a lot of it lately since she started her character. Um, but we're going to be starting this gameplay with me. We're going to see how it goes. And yeah. So it says, We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term starts September 1st. <coughs> Thank goodness I found it now, you know. It's only, uh, it's only February, so I'm good. I got time. I got time. So preliminary supplies have been collected for you and you will be will accompany you on your journey to Hogwarts. So that's nice to know. As you may be aware, the decree of reasonably restricted and underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of the school. Very important. Uh, however, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliezer Fig, Professor Fig pretty much, to help you and hone your spellcraft before you're escorted we escort you to from London to the castle for the start of your term. Start of the term, feast, and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Mr. Weasley. Professor Weasley. And Weasley. So, Deputy Headmistress. Okay. We're going in, boys and girls. So, we're going to pick a character that best suits me. And we'll start kind of making him look towards what I look like. I think that's kind of a good preset. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go to that. Oh, face shape. Okay. My face is kind of... Kind of have like a... Let me look at your face straight on. Definitely not that. Maybe more like that? No. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> So maybe more like that. Well, I have kind of cheekbones, don't I? Not really. I feel like I have an egg shape kind of chin. So maybe that. Maybe more like this. Okay. I am kind of. I'm not white, but I'm like tan. So probably something more like. Yeah, like that kind of tan color. And we don't need glasses, even though I'm wearing glasses right now. These are my lazy glasses. I do wear contacts though. But... Um, now we gotta find a hairstyle that best fits me. And that's kind of the big thing. If anything. That is kind of me, to be honest. So we got that in mind. Definitely not me. Yes, Afro. Not me. Okay. 
Yes. Perfection. I look like a girl. I look like a girl. Nothing wrong with that. Um, because with me, I like having my hair kind of short. And this is kind of not how my hair looks like, but I like it kind of short. Um, trying to find a good medium to my hair. Like, I like it kind of long, but not too long. I think that's kind of the best suit for that. And then we need like a black color. Oh yeah, we're gonna be white guys. It's gonna be good. We have like a bat. We have no scars. Collections fine. Hmm. Eye color is brown. It's like a dark, you know, there's nothing about that. Oh, I keep accidentally not hitting the arrow. about that kind of color, or a little bit lighter. It's a little too dark. Eyebrow color will be black, pretty much. Pretty realistically, me. <laughs> I don't want to look that bad, guys. Okay. Unibrow man. Here we go. Unibrow man. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to. It was wonderful. A few cobwebs and. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I think I'm more of a, a few cobwebs like and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. More more. I have freckles on my face. Wait, wait, wait. I do not have freckles on my face. Evil genius. I'm not evil genius. <laughs> okay. I am indeed a student, but I could. I'm eager to get to. So we're going to be named. Andre. Zombie. Because I don't want people calling me zombie. This doesn't make any sense. My name's Andre. <laughs> zombie. Zombie. Zombie Andre. There we go. Okay, so we got everything set. I think we're ready to go again. Let's kick it off. This is during the 1800s, guys, whatever that. It appears that. we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. Yes. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George, 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Somebody's watching our... I'm gonna try not to talk as much during the cutscenes, guys, so you guys can hear it. Um, but we will definitely talk more once we get into the gameplay. Warner Brothers Games! An Avalanche Studio. Avalanche. Porky Games. The Wizarding Words, which I've always been interested in since I was a kid. I watched the movies. I'm now just getting into the books. But yeah, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. There's something underneath those guys. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Oh my gosh. It's okay, right? Definitely done. And we can tell because now we can see the uh I don't know what the creatures are called, but you can only see them if you see death. Oh 
Anarchy. Ooh, that was close, guys. Oh my gosh. Squid. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's heal up, baby. What happened? Ah, I feel right as rain. Oh, George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. If you want to look around a bit. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. You oh, got it, sir. Let's just get going. Okay, guys, we're jumping in. We're finally moving around. We're, we're dancing. We're not dancing, but... How far did that port key take us? Farther Damn. from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Yeah. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're yeah. sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, we're moving out, boys. The drills. Mind okay. your step. Where well, do you suppose your uh... wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Okay, let's do it. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Makes sense. Yeah. Magic isn't good or bad, I think he has. Like what is he says, it depends voice? on who wields it and how it's they wield it. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that yeah. one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, so we need to hit R two. Excellent. So select an active target. Some players select targets to move the avatar with the same thumbstick. Disable targeting. Okay. So pretty much it'll lock on so you won't like lose your bit shots and everything. Than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. There you go. Pretty good, ain't I? I feel like I've always meant to be opposite. Let's 
struggled a bit, but I made it. Actually, let's check back here. Let's check back out this path. There might be something hidden back here that might be interesting. Like, look at that chest. The thing is, is usually when I play games, I always think about looking at paths and stuff and looking around areas because you always could find something interesting, you know? Something worth finding that will help. Like that chest, friends. We got some good. Steady yourself. Repair. Yeah. Can't go down there unless I want to die. Not ready to die yet, guys. Oh, I have so many great things to do at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Don't worry, all the pots are we're safe. <laughs> Why would someone have no pots here? looking at us? I suspect they valued their privacy. That porky led us here for a reason. Oh, wait, never mind, I forgot to. For anything that seems out of place. Missed one. Missed three, sir. Sorry. So the main map shows us running is a view with arrow, your triangle, whatever the cursor is you. Your objective is the uh, you can toggle between quests and objectives. Very nice. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. <laughs> It might be his home. I'm gonna hit all these pots just because it's good practice, you know? Stupefy. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? I don't know, man. Professor Fake! Let's, let's touch it. Oh, wow. It's a Green Gods Bank right there. I can just tell by the chandeliers and the style. It's the Green Dots Bank. How That's odd. Green Dots Bank. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portal. Apparently, we can see stuff. Sorry, I was checking something. What in Merlin's name? Where are we? Godric's heart. Oh my Where gosh, we're in we? Greek God's Bank. I don't believe it. How did we get here, actually, to be honest? So the weird thing about this is it looks like its own its own private lobby. It's not like normal Green God's Bank, like from the Harry Potter movies. It's like its own private little lobby for like special people. Very Hello? interesting. Something on my face. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. 
Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Okay, let's Stay go. Stay close. That's cool that they all have to use whistle. You know, get to be in Green God's Bank for the Green God Baking. Stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Guys, we're gonna have some fun today. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. See, that means, is that, that means someone had great power or wealth. A what? And that's why... That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting indeed. What we're running into. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Hmm, interesting. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Do you guys even have like seat belts? I'm just realizing when they sit on those carts, like how dangerous it'd be if you just lose your balance and fall over. That'd be kind of scary. Like think about Here that. We are. No, they don't. They just sit there. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. When was Anything the last time if I've learned was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, wow. no one has visited Vault 12 until Damn today. Silly. That's a long time. Oh. What? There's something over there. I want to look at it. Damn it. There's something over there. Please don't put me in the vault. Twelve. Thank you. It's all back to put me the fall, isn't it? No. There's something there. No, it is gonna give a chance. Yes. Yes. We got a chest. We got a chest. Full of stuff. Full of stuff. As a that's as a person that's played a lot of the game, especially like open world adventure games, you always kinda wanna look around the place before you go do stuff. This is personally one thing I've learned. It just makes sense, doesn't it, Daft, to walk around the what world, look for treasure. For? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll give it a second. Oh, oh yeah, um, Spartan Sir, is gone. I wonder if you might... The instructions There's for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. This goblin just locked us in a vault. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Professor? Yeah, I did. That 
was My wife was playing unexpected. it, and she's loving it. Let me loving think. every minute of it. There must be something yes. here. Mm. I've been Ravenia also playing uh, God of War Ravenia. Ragnarok too. Yes, so. a revealing charm. No time like the present. I, Let's see what we're I, missing. I Freya can. finally just forgive us, Ready forgave us. So I went on that quest with her, and I did the extra stuff there at the at her little area or whatever. So Ravenia. now. Her, there, I guess, ties I with. Something. Yeah. Move a bit closer and try again. She, she's seen the light. She's like, I believe in you, and I'm like, a door. I believe in yourself. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. Believe. In I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol. And then I went the to an Elven. Girls, the one I saw in the port uh, container. I guess if shrine or library. The way forward. Yeah, on the one desert planet the where the dark elves and the, the way. yeah so I did yeah so I went to that desert I freed the last giant jellyfish thingy and yeah but they died with happiness that's what matters <laughs> Lumos. and then oh this is no ordinary vault I suspect yeah. we will need to earn our way out. So I did that, and then now me and Freya are about to leave the library, and we have to fight that elf librarian now. Test? And that's where I, I stopped. Because I died but a couple times. I can't <laughs> say. Stay yeah. close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good game. I'm not even halfway through the game. <laughs> I see something up ahead. What is I it? I see something, that Professor globe, Fig. But on the floor. I'm gonna become so powerful. Narwhal Watcher. What happened? When I moved towards the globe, yeah, because this is like the 1800s. The ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm fine. So you seem to have caused the floor to change. I that changed statue. the floor. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection. Uh, in the floor. I don't know. They do connect a lot of the. Uh... Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. Yes. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yeah, sorry guys, I haven't... I haven't been in awe that much. I've been playing God of War, plus I've been like really busy lately. I'm gonna be sad because once uh, Wednesday comes, I'm probably not gonna be on Xbox that much. Lumos, well done. Now Wednesday, that's when uh, the PSVR dose comes uh, comes to my house. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing that like nonstop. <laughs> I'm gonna be live streaming it on YouTube and doing all that fun stuff. I've been doing unboxing. Potato. Over there. Potato, potato. Fireball. Yeah, I heard that. A lot of people are kind of worried because they don't know what's going to happen. Try to hit me. I'm going to potato your face out. Hopefully, but I think people are afraid they're going to get someone worse. That's why. Just like any kind of game. Oh! And potato time, my bad. Thanks, Professor Fig. Don't worry, Professor Fig, we got him. 
Stay close. I'm right here with you, Fig. I'm like holding your hand. That's how close I am. Bodega. Professor. Luke, Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This Professor Fig. Where am what I happened? supposed to go? What's Professor happening? Fig. There's the lights going around me. Leading me somewhere. They're wisps. It's time to wisp our way away. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight there we go. We got out it. of here. Oh yeah. They're giant spiders. We had to start enemies. Wisps. Lumos. Let's follow them wisps. Saturday. It's it's Saturday. It's not totally Saturday. It is Saturday. <laughs> That's tomorrow. <gasps> it's a door. A door, a door, up here in front of me. It's a door, a door. Oh, he. Ooh, a chest. But there's another chest over here. Nice. Okay, so we got that. Let's go open up this uh the store over here. Hello! Are you there? Professor Fig! Yes. Godric's heart, I'm glad you're alright. I'm somehow back in the entry room to the vault. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. Let's go. Check this out. I'll keep looking over here. A potion. Uh, there you are. How did you? Stalker. What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. What is it, Professor Fig? Follow my lead. 
Oh yeah, it's the thing where you can view a memory. too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ancient ability magic. to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? Oh, no. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. It's that one evil Ram goblin. Rock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> nah, I'm good. Uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh, gosh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Now look at this. Oh my god! It summoned a guardian, if you will, to protect the vault. Or whatever it was inside of. Oh jeez. Get out of there, Jimmy! Get out of there, Professor Fig. I found a way out. Let's get out. And my name's Andre Zombie. That's a rod! Rod! Bam, just oh. in the nick of time. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. Fantastic, sir. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It 
It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Where are we going? He's talking about this. Welcome everybody to Hogwarts Legacy by Porky Games. Oh baby, we get to go to the castle. I'm sorry, I'm excited guys. <laughs> I don't freak it out. We're gonna try to keep the stream to like an hour so we can make them into cut cut them into videos that'll be like pretty decently good size. Um it's the plan, so. Hour by hour playthrough. A little bit choppy, but. It's okay. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, okay. but. That seems more appropriate. Now. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. You got it, Professor. Ready for the no one will know my secret. Our secret, at least. to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Got Professor Fig. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go get sorted into my house. I need better lighting, I know. Professor and there's Weasley. a Harry. We've one more no, it's not Harry. <laughs> Harry Potter wasn't well, around when this you're happened. Just in time. Have a seat. So we should be good. Okay, here we go, guys. Wapa. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Yeah, I'm kind of old. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Guess. Can't wait to start classes. Can't wait to explore. I'm more of a. I can't wait to explore. I'm I think that's gonna to be fun. Exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Yeah, I'm excited. Indeed. much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff! Okay, so for all you guys that don't know, um, Hogwarts uh, Legacy, there is a fan-made app called... Um, let's see. 
it's the Harry Potter fan club app and on this app pretty much you can um, pretty much do the quest to uh, figure out what uh, what house you'd be in your wand your um, Patronus would be Patronus is in the game but you take that account you can link it to your uh, WB account and then after link it that then you're kind of set up to go and um, have everything set up so when I did it it gave me Hufflepuff I think I'm more of a Hufflepuff anyways because the house of Hufflepuff is known for patience loyalty and hard work and that's kind of who I am in general I'm, I'm a very helpful person so we are gonna go with the house Hufflepuff better be Hufflepuff thank you everybody I'm a Hufflepuff I'm not a Gryffindor I'm not a Ravenclaw, and I'm not a Slytherin. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but... Don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite yeah, he's not the best headmaster, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. That is awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Weasley. The Weasleys are nice people. That's one thing I could say about them that's really not it's quite awesome about it. It's uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It's yeah, great, isn't it? Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff. Just make sure you guys can hear me. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. <laughs> That's pretty great. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Wait, what? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get doused in vinegar. Get ready. Here it comes, guys. He's gonna do it automatically for me. Interesting. Helga. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor. That sounds You're awesome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you, Mrs. Weasley. Okay. Brand new morning. At Hogwarts. Looks really pretty. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh boy, okay, so let's go look around. That's what we're gonna do. Pick some tea. I think that's kind of weird that we literally just picked up a random thing of tea. Who could have, probably could have been someone else's, I don't know. And we took someone's random apples too. I'm hoping we're sharing all that stuff. I just kicked around that book, I think. Itch. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we are going to stop for this playthrough. So we just got into Hogwarts, we got our sorting hat, we are a Hufflepuff! And it should be a fun time. So I hope you guys did enjoy the first playthrough. This is kind of just to give you guys a glimpse into the game. We might do a whole playthrough of this game, we'll see how it goes though. But I might just also cut out some stuff, just because there's going to be a lot of different things in the game that we're going to do. And I think this game's going to be a long... I think they said it's going to be like over 70 hours if you want to do everything. Um, which we're, I don't know if we're going to do everything, but we're going to get through most stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys all next time. 
Bye bye. Hey guys, it's Zombie Andre here. We're let's play part two, guys, of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, previous episode, we got to Hogwarts. Uh, some interesting things happened, and uh, we get we got sorted into our house, which is Hufflepuff. And we're gonna continue right after this. So we just got woke up from our first night and sleeping in the uh, the common room or the Hufflepuff house, which I like it. It's like a little cottage in a way. It's like a cottage, underground cottage. Makes you think of the uh, Hobbits. In a way and I really like it. It looks really cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Like that's amazing. Like I love the 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 interior design for this. It's like an underground cobbit house. Can I go into all these rooms? I can. Let's check it out. There's a lot of people in here. Hello. I missed you too, David. Sorry, I've been busy-ish. Yes. Yes, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I, I can let that go. Hurting people. <laughs> I know. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> if someone wouldn't mind letting me know when the cast out fertilizer is coming, I'd be very grateful. Oh my god. Diabolical. Okay, I'm looking at everything I could do here. Poorly. What happened? Oh my. Look how pretty this is, guys. I'm like going into everyone's common room area. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Someone built a uh, whatever that is. I tried to set their clothes on fire, it didn't work. Ooh, house chest. Spartan left up. Ah. Spartan's internet go kaploot. Death? Oh, I didn't know if you left or not. Oh, hello, Santi. The stairs move if you try to go to the girl's side. Oh, really? Let's try. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh my. Look at how awesome this place is. Let's go upstairs. You don't need to be frightened. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I did. I see what you mean. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that's great. Let me do it again. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> there you are. They won't they won't let me go up the stairs to the girl's side. Isn't that wonderful? I can already tell you I love the Hufflepuff house. They have food and snacks laying around everywhere. That's really awesome. Oh hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance Kuna you Matat. made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone no, will be watching to see how much you already know.
I do have a lot to catch up on. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing oh. wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Hello. So why do you think you should do have been a Ravenclaw? Really think you should have been in Ravenclaw. Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Yes. Sorting hat was spoiled for choice. Okay, it's it nice, nice to meet, meet you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. To you. Okay, guys, let's grab another apple. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Poor ghost. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you. Is your uncle Are you all sure right? everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Well, Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Oh, uh, no, no. It's all right. Oh. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Ooh, a little cat on a uh, cookshelf. Quite rich. <laughs> Come on, you went that oh way. Oh my god. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, mm. by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first... Yeah. Years, I think. Second. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't Aww. think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Pets are awesome. I think magical I'm sorry beasts to hear are incredible. That. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruggles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> I bet she was. Anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Oh, what a nice person. Well, she just said that he didn't like Have pets, but we could ask pet, him. Arthur. No. My mother's yeah, a I was muggle, gonna say. And as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That'd be, nice that'd be something. You, <laughs> no. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the okay. Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. That's me. Meow. 
Okay, so I think this is where we are gonna stop though for right now for the stream. This is gonna be my first video uh, of uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, hopefully, you guys, people enjoy it on YouTube. If you guys want to see more, let me know. We're gonna play more and just to get more people to interested in this game and see how the game does because the game I heard is pretty good. It's not like the best, greatest RPG in the world, but it's definitely a decently good RPG that definitely deserves. I just saw a cat run by. I swear I thought I did. Uh, you know. Yeah, here too. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I uh, can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye bye.